Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Just wait. It is a hard cut because the wrong button was pushed. I am Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA, ready to talk about all of your powdered milk toast raw wrapping up. I got to watch how I say that so I don't get another letter from uh, from WWE corporate. Anyways, oh, also, we're not officially uh, <laughs> associated with the WWE. Uh, but one guy that used to be, he has, a, he has a future Endeavor letter from the WWE. He's the only one of us with one of those. It's Mad Mike. Hi, Mad Mike. Sorry, I refuse to show until we have a new intro song. A new intro song? Um, I demand Pyro. Pyro? Um, I want um, a new announcer. Uh, to to, to warn to warn that is parental discretion advised. <laughs> you don't like Chachi? Who, who did that like Sorg? Eight Sorg, years ago? this is the this is the season premiere of the Monday Mayhem Dude, wrap up. And if fun. we had Sorg, if we had Pyro, a new intro and a new theme song, we could do fucking anything we want, and everyone would say it was the best show ever. There you go. That's new how th- that's how it works, right? I'm putting this here. That okay? This here, okay. right there. New set. Okay, I like it. You like it? Okay. I like what it. Now, now, what can we do my right here? I don't have. Where is my oh, pyro? Your pyro? Yeah. Um. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I got you. Uh, okay. Ha, ha, ha. Wow, oh, Tina. There Tina's you go. coming in hot. The flashlight. In the, okay. the flashlight okay. app works for me. There okay. you go. I, I accept that. I accept that. All right. Pyro. Strobe lights. Yes. Strobe lights. Yes, strobe lights. Now work. everybody is getting a seizure. If Becky only gets smoke, I can I can accept the strobe light. Okay. All right. Okay. There you uh, go. Tina is starting off hot in the chat room. The only three letters that can describe a part of the ending of Raw tonight: BBC. BBC. Yep. I don't know that. Like the British Broadcast Company. No, no, the other BBC, the one you would look up on Pornhub. Wait, what does that mean? I don't. Big big black cock sword. Oh. Okay. All right. I, I assume. Is... Nothing. I assume that is what Tina means. <laughs> Tina, if I if I'm speaking out of turn for you, please let me know. She's saying Dutters would have been proud, so I'm assuming I'm correct. Uh huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> but um, yeah. But then I like right before we went live, I saw someone tweet that someone called Bobby Lashley powdered toast man, and I will never unsee or unthink that ever again. Oh boy. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Um. And if you don't know, like like I, uh, oh, I don't have it. Hold on, let me. Nope, I don't have that plugged in. Sorry, I don't have my iPad plugged into the system tonight. Um, but yeah, uh, they, they uh, uh, Mad Mike forty eighty three uh, uh, tagged the picture of uh, Powder Toast Man. Yeah, so, yeah. If you don't know who Powder Toast Man is, do yourself a favor, give it a Google. Mike, do you have anything not Monday night that is your your um, good wrestling thing of the week thing? Oh heavens no! <laughs> okay. Oh, you're no. Gonna... Uh, no, I, I was I was busy doing Mad Mike things this week. Mad Mike um, things. Yeah, because I figure we're going to get OD'd on wrestling this week, so oh. I tried to I tried to steer clear from it. And even I saw a lot of wrestling, and I was just watching football. Mm, cool. <laughs> <laughs> like, like legitimately, I saw about eighty ads for SmackDown. And at least ten ads for Raw, mm. Mm. and one ad for AEW. So I Dark Knight Rises was on TNT. So, I pre-game yeah. the uh, wrestling uh, OD this week. I yeah, sounds like you did. Uh, we we ventured down to uh, Charleston, West Virginia, which oh, will boy. be uh, one of the sites of one of AEW's tapings. Actually, after here in Pittsburgh. Uh, I believe first weekend or first week of uh, uh, November. They're, they're going uh, along that thing you do roadshow tour. I guess so. No, they went to Charleston. Oh, they okay. Charleston. They went to Pittsburgh. Yeah. Um. They. Uh, <laughs> they're all part of the Playtone and Galaxy. They, they. So we went down. We got. We had the opportunity to to do fill in video crew for uh, Pro Wrestling Conquest down there. Uh, okay. Uh, Al Snow was there. Excellent. I uh, had a great match. 
let me say parentheses match with Jock Samson. I was gonna say Al Snow still actually wrestles. There was That's wrestling. Impressive. There was definitely wrestling. Okay. Um but it was either way, it was entertaining. It was okay. good. And it was classic Al Snow. Um I saw I saw a, a street fight that involved a boat. Mm-hmm. A kayak. What, was it was it Scarzart Scarsguard the dilapidated? I boat? didn't even think about that, but there was some stuff that like I got smacked in the face with and it was wet and it was like a uh, one of those bar uh uh like the the bar the bar like like holder to put the glasses on, I think. Um That's what she said. So I yeah, it was like the the boat was wet and they started throwing stuff and I got splashed and I was really curious how if I should get shots. Um probably. I mean just by going to West Virginia. I don't know how clean the, the rivers of West Virginia are. They're not. No. Sword. Okay. They they are not. I can't remember if they're up river Decidedly or Decidedly not. Decidedly not. Decidedly. Okay. Okay. It's West Virginia. But it was a, it was a lot of fun. It was a really good show. Uh, a lot of people we know, uh, Jackson Argos. I haven't done a show with Jackson Argos in months, so it was ah, good to Canada, catch. Good was, old Canada Dry, Jackson. Yeah, Argos. good old Canada Dry, Jackson Argos. <laughs> Had a great match with Trey Lamar that we've been seeing in Rise Wrestling with a Y. Um, there was a uh, 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 facade and uh, Kincaid were uh, took on the Jim Nasty Boys and the okay. Ugly Ducklings. Have you heard about these guys, Mike? Um, no. Are they looking for their mother? I, I don't know, but there's many of them, including Coach Mikey, uh, who did a, a dance, a dancing to Backstreet Boys with uh, Beast Man at intermission that I, I posted now, over the now weekend. Now, did. Did they call it Quack Street Boys? Mm, should have, should have. Okay. Um, I implore you to please look up if you have not yet, Mad Mike. Uh, uh, you have assignment. Uh, other than uh, you know, give you a chance to, to Sorg, Sorg. Jim? Only Ronnie, only Ronnie gets homework. I, you show. don't know. I think it's worthwhile. I, I watch Caleb enough Mike, wrestling. The Ronnie ugly, doesn't even. I'm watch telling Raw. you, the Ugly Ducklings, which by the way, a member of them is Colby Carino. Oh boy, well, fits. Mm-hmm. Oh no, it does. It does. I've, I've seen them. Yeah, and I mean, uh, you know, not not to not to like look shame anyone. You know, it's 2019, but if the shoe fits, uh, well, you know, at least you found your spot. You know, uh, but uh, they had a three way that uh, ended up breaking out into a soccer match because we were on like an indoor soccer field, sports complex kind of thing. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, as you do, shirts and skins. Uh, Danny was on skin or shirts. Sorry. Oh, okay. So odd. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was a fun, crazy, uh, insane show. Uh, so a good, th- a good, a lot of fun there. Plus, we did a uh, RWA. Uh, I, I got to set up and then run up the road for Havoc in the Heights. That include our friend Sexy Fireman Jason Tyler uh, against uh, Sam Adonis, international superstar. Uh, and uh, that was a fun, like six match, like in a fire hall benefit show. That was just. A blast to be at. So, did anyone use the poll? There was no poll. I, I've yet what? to see. I can't remember when I've been in a fire department that has a poll. So, next time you come to New York City, yeah, yeah New York will, City, uh, sure. But I mean, this is this is this is a volunteer fire department on Route 30 in Irwin, PA. There's not going to be a poll over there. Okay, there's now there is a poll right down the street because I think there are several uh, establishments of the night down there. Establishments of the night. <laughs> oh boy! Oh, sorry. You can just say Taco Bell's. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Taco Bell's. That's exactly. that's what you meant, right? That's what they're I meant. Was Taco Bell. They're there's, open till two a.m. There's legit a Taco Bell. It's actually a block hashtag away. fourth meal. It's also hashtag block away Taco from a, block away from a sheets too. Um, sheets. But RWA had a three way. Uh, <laughs> there's a transition. Crazy. Um, <laughs> there's a three like their, their second or third match. I, I I'm gonna edit, it's it's marked to edit tomorrow. I just finished the conquest, uh, four show today. That's actually rendering right now. And we'll hopefully get that to them tonight. Um, and uh, and and uh, the the lights went out, sir. Oh, and no. the fireflies. The oh yeah, but the fireflies came out because uh, despite the 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 simple blip in t- in uh, I mean it probably went out for like ten seconds. Right. Okay. But unfortunately, it's a very old gymnasium, and it takes about ten minutes for the lights to warm back up. Oh no! So, and we're <laughs> three matches in. The third match, 
just started. Oh no! And it's a three-way involving facade. <clears throat> oh boy! Well, I mean, so so you must have been able to keep track of him because I assume facade just closed in the dark. He is the only one. When I pulled the clip off a of hard cam and we put it up on uh, Indie Wrestling dot uh, us Facebook page and and YouTube actually. Yeah, it's he's the only one I recognize when I first put it up. So, uh, wow. Tina Tina is saucy tonight. Oh, is she? I I was joking when I said Taco Bell, and Tina said of the pink taco fashion. Oh, Tina Tina is saucy. Tina, have you been drinking? Does Did that... Raw finally drive you to drink? Can I order that in a box with a drink? Uh, I believe that is the box. Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> but um, bum. Hey. And then, so we had the two shows there, and of course, so I went down to Uprise, uh, the the kind of uh, uh, fledgling startup young guy show uh, that uh, was made available by Max and Ziggy Heim. Uh, some really, really good matches there. Some up and comers, uh, Jordan Styles. By the way, Jordan Styles is now a two time Emmy winner. Huh? Yeah. Okay then. So. Do you, you, do you know about successful St. Jordan Styles? He's been on, you know, I guess he hasn't been on the main show for you for you to, to chat with. Yeah, I, uh, I, I've I seen pictures of people holding Emmys <laughs> come up in my Twitter feed, and I assume this is what you're referring yes, to. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, Jordan, he was, he's, he was originally affiliated with the Rev Ron Hunt. Ah, okay. And that's why now, he's successful. Now it's starting to make more the sense. The successful saint, Jordan Styles. Uh, okay. But no, he won. He won. A, he actually works with one of the uh, TV stations here locally, and, and uh, they had their Emmy night uh, Saturday night. So he went and wrestled, and then went in and accepted an empty an, an Emmy. Oh, in the same excellent. night. So that's. I it. mean, who doesn't want to accept an Emmy? So either way, a lot of wrestling happening there. I already have a triple booked Saturday apparently in in, in December now. Uh, so oh, I, I, I did the, I did the calendar for Pittsburgh wrestling.com, just updating everything with any of the new announcements. Um, there are 13 wrestling shows within an hour of Pittsburgh in October. Oh, wow. That's uh that's a lot of wrestling. It's a lot of wrestling. That's a lot of wrestle. It's a lot of wrestling that includes AEW. Um, that includes the four chords festival matches that are happening. That includes okay. like three or four KSWA shows. I think okay. I'm going to go to two KSW, KSWA shows this month. Wow. Good for you. And I want to speak to something. Mike, I warned you about this. Yep. Because so, mm-hmm. I, I, I said about how, hey, I got a Saturday night. I'm going to go to KSWA. Right? Mm-hmm. And one of my friends one of my friends in the business that I've worked with for 10 years was like, with all that you do, when you have a night off where you're not filming wrestling on a weekend, why do you go find wrestling to watch? It's an excellent question. And I don't really have an answer other than I just like to watch wrestling. Yeah, I mean, fair answer. Fair. Like, I, I don't know. It's just it's just the, the comfortable thing for me to do. Like, if I don't have a weekend where I'm hanging out near a wrestling ring watching a show, it's kind of like... And, and plus, it's not like there, there are any clutch movies that are out right now. Yeah, that doesn't help either. But yeah, that, like, but that's like, my, like the what, next the next couple of weeks we're gonna have Joker, but that's like my Zombie Land, and that's like my other. Wednesday and Thursday release though, right? Oh, uh, okay. Like that's okay. the you know, hey, it's been a long day. Let's go get a movie because we have that's the your midweek thing. release. Yeah, although there's so much wrestling, I don't know what we're gonna do with that. Uh, but yeah, uh, Wednesdays are shot now. Yeah, when, <laughs> I don't, I don't think I'm gonna sit and watch AEW every week. I. I don't think I, I'm gonna I, do I, it. I, okay, so I was gonna save this for because I think this should be the question tomorrow. But you and I can discuss. Well, it okay, let's, let's 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 peek into right, well, it a little bit, but let's yeah. get into it more tomorrow. Just like if this is a big if, if you can only watch one on a Wednesday, yeah, NXT or AEW. If DVR was not a thing, if you didn't have VCRs like back in the nineties, mm. like what? first sh- what like first card of both these shows because basically the whole card for each show has been released mm-hmm. which one entices you more um not the card but i would go watch the aew one because that's more of the what is going to happen we don't know because we have not seen a show of this yet okay that's where i'm at okay that's fair that's actually exactly what i'm going to be doing 
mm-hmm. because that's exactly what I'm going to be doing because um, um, I also know that, that NXT is going to be, you know, post, you know, on the network. And here's the thing, Mike. Here's my here's my intangibles. Now, this mm-hmm. week is different. It's it's the premiere week. Um, unless something comes through that I'm not expecting, I should be able to watch AEW and Fox Live. Um, typically, I'm going to be too busy probably to watch those shows, mm-hmm. right? How am I watching them afterwards? NXT, problem yeah. solved. I'm watching it the next day on the network. Uh, Fox, I don't know how they do their post shows. I don't know what the app is like. TNT, I did find out I can watch it live on the app with cable login. Um, really? Yes. Uh, they have a stream. That is good to know. Okay. 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 I, I think I figured out how I'm doing Wednesday nights. Okay. Oh, are you doing a picture in picture via apps? Uh, that's what I used to do back in the 90s. Oh, wait, like, what? Legit, no joke. I had a picture in picture TV at my place. Mm hmm. And I had Raw and Nitro. And when it was a segment I like, I switched. That's how I did the Monday Night War. Like, it was legit. It was pretty legit. I was a very big fan of it. Uh, sorry, just responding to somebody about another event. Um, uh, so, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's... Um, I. I it, it, a lot of a lot of interesting decisions, and it, it'll be curious to see how many people and how many people like kind of for make a decision, right? Like I am, you know, and then this is going to come up a lot. We and this is, discussion has already happened. I'm a fan of all wrestling, you know. I am a fan. I want to go watch, you know, the crazy super indie con- pro wrestling conquest show that we saw this weekend. I want to watch what KSWA does because T- Tina says you can catch SmackDown on Fox.com the next day. That has been announced. That's what she's Which saying. Which means it's probably, I'm not, I'm, on, it's probably on the Fox app and everything like that. Yeah, because um, I, I don't think Fox has a live feed on their app. And the nice thing is, as a person that doesn't have cable, like cable cable, um, mm-hmm. I can turn on a TV at my house with rabbit ears and watch SmackDown now. Yeah, true. I mean, that's that's big. That's big. Very true. And that's why everybody's over there. So Friday nights are going to be the A show. Yeah, I... I I don't know when I'm going to get to see SmackDown because I'm going that? to be I'm going to be in New Orleans. Well, here's here's this weekend. So I, this weekend is gonna be it, it's the worst weekend to go because like I want to watch SmackDown live. I mm-hmm. want to watch Hell in a Cell live. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do either of them live, unfortunately. That is unfortunate. So here's what yeah. I here's also what I do. I already have a reminder for me every Saturday morning. I did this last time when they were on. When SmackDown was on Thursdays and Fridays, mm-hmm. uh, I have Saturday morning SmackDown. Uh yeah. My see uh, Saturday mornings, I sleep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I sleep. It's uh, very important to me. Yeah, very important to me. I I sleep. I sleep. Sorg. Oh, as a uh, as a uh, as a uh, our, my uh, our good friend Paul Atlas uh, said uh, this weekend when I was talking about uh, my schedule, I was like, "We'll sleep when we dead." So uh, T- Tina's asking if we caught Ray's mask tonight. That was a throwback to Halloween Havoc '97. No, I didn't uh, notice that. His his jacket was too, because the back of the jacket was him wrestling Eddie. No way. Yeah, I was wondering about that. By the way, uh, we we need to talk about. I right, gave We'll talk more about these these uh, new wrestling schedules and how we're dealing with them uh, 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 tomorrow on the show. Uh, we're gonna have the kids from Pit Fight, uh, I believe, are gonna be on. Uh, so. Sorg. Brock Lesnar is fighting a vendetta of the grave. Hmm. Yes. Oh. Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar does not have many defeats. No. He definitely doesn't have many people who he has a losing record against. Mm-mm. One of those people, he finally extracted his revenge tonight by going after the son of Eddie Guerrero, Dominic. (laughs) Yes! The sins of the poppy! (laughs) The sins of the poppy are now (laughs) bestowed upon the son. 
show title. The yes. Sins of the Poppy. The Sins of the Poppy. If, if we don't do a show title for this, show title for tomorrow night. The Sins of the Poppy. Jeez. God damn it, that's good. <laughs> But anyways, I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to Brock Lesnar's uh, ladder match with uh, Mysterio. Oh. <laughs> no, now Ray has to call him daddy too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But uh, if now I think Ray is definitely interfering in that match on Friday. Oh yeah. Oh, you oh, bet yeah. your sweet bippy. Yeah, you bet your sweet bippy. That's what we get. Happen. What do you think we get? We get like a three way uh, with Mysterio, Kofi, and Brock at Hell in a Cell. I don't know. Hell in a Cell is weird. There's not a lot booked. No, because we got for a lot a show, happening this for a week. show for a show that is uh, checks notes Sunday. Yes, there there are three matches booked. You know what I have that I can that I can think of. I'm, I'm going to check right now. It's like the most fortunate see. unfortunate booking, but uh I have to go to West Virginia to shoot a uh a tag team buried alive match cuz damn it I'm not missing that. Uh <laughs> Thankfully it starts at 5, so I I shouldn't miss much of a uh, Hell in a Cell. Yeah, you should be okay. I need a driver so I can watch Hell in a Cell yeah. on the way back. So, so if anybody, th- there are three matches booked. So if there's anybody aside from Jesus that wants to take the wheel for me on Sunday, please uh, let me know. Um, but yeah, there's three matches. What the two Hell in the Cells and and was... and Daniel and Roman versus Roman and Harper is laughing. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, that's it. We haven't even booked Bailey versus Charlotte yet, which I assume is happening. Has but... to be. Has to be. It, it might even be Bailey versus Carmella. I don't mm-hmm. know. It's all over the place. Yes, these are these are going. But also remember, and I think this is the big thing. Um, obviously, we got to set things up for the premiere. Um, also, yeah, but- also remember the premiere is going to be on Fox, which is going to be the most accessible network that WWE has ever been on in prime time. Um, NBC. Well, okay. Third night's main event. Right, right, but not... it's it's the most accessible they they're going to be on regularly. Yes. So and it's the premiere of that with everything. I mean, you you have NFL, you know, you have NFL advertising SmackDown, which is going to be advertising the network pay per view Sunday, and NFL advertising Raw because yeah. I saw an ad oh, really? for Raw. I saw an ad for Raw on NBC Sunday Night Football because I was watching the Cowboys. Oh, wow. Well, that makes sense since they're uh, NBC Universal. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. All right. Um. Anyways. Uh, yeah. And Tina says also the draft is next week. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a lot going on. But, uh, oh, boy. And Wheels is booing me, but... The chat room is far behind, so I don't know what specifically is being. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to say, "Hey, wheels, go fuck yourself." I'll push you into traffic, <laughs> as usual. By the way, as good to usual. see you. Good, good to see you, wheels, on Sunday or yes. Saturday, whatever day that was. Was he leading the way? Um, he was leading the um, <laughs> he was leading the um, 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 music for the night. Excellent. Okay. So. Um, oh, I'm just pulling something up here. Uh, so, uh, anyways, let's get into Raw for tonight a little bit more. Yeah. Um, I think, mm-hmm. hey, we were kind of joking beforehand, uh, there was a lot of trying to make shit happen. Um, and I know you're going to disagree a lot. Of, well, okay. No, I no, they're definitely trying tonight. I, there, I there's gonna, a I lot know. happening, a lot for you to talk about, whether you're going to like it or not, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. No, d- I'm okay with, with, um, not liking stuff mm-hmm. like because that's gonna happen no like i said on twitter no show is perfect you ain't gonna like everything you see on there i i approve that they're trying stuff i wish mm-hmm. we didn't have so many rematches tonight but i didn't you, you know i didn't mind the rematches because i felt like everything had like i, I felt like everything was kind of cranked up a notch because of the the nature of what tonight's show was um yeah, i don't know the oc versus viking raiders just kind of dragged for me because it, it was a good show off for the Raiders, and I don't think it did much for the OC. I'm with you there. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. We'll we'll see what kind of happens with that. Um, but uh, you know, even the little bit with uh, uh, Ricochet and Cesaro, please give me a pay per view match with that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but you know, 
there, it wasn't for anything. Mm-hmm. Like, well, and then we had we had well, we had Rusev roll into. A no, that was title. great. That was fine, but that it rolled ended, into it ended. Oh boy, it it ended with powdered toast. Yeah, man. Yeah, I, what? That, that's Paul Heyman. Mm-hmm. You can't say that's not Heyman. That's, <laughs> that is that is uh, that is the rated PG thirteen superstar Bobby mm-hmm. Lashley. Because mm-hmm. because you know with a face like that he's never going rated R. <laughs> so which was Bobby the... Lashley is the least in inti- the least intimidating looking man who could rip me in half I've ever seen in my mm-hmm. life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. I've seen him in person, and it's like I, I seen him in person in a room full of <laughs> other jacked individuals because we were at the Arnold, and ah, she's like, right. "No, nope, still concerned. He's really friendly, but I'm, um, you know." <laughs> oh yeah, no, like I, you know, I, and he was I, Impact I, Lashley then. Oh, okay, so he was the Destroyer. He yeah, was, he was uh... still he was still Impact Lashley. He was just saying hi to all of his WWE friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Wheel says he's not a fan of the new set, so we oh, should probably dig into it. that. I love the new set. I want somebody to take a skateboard and ramp it. Um, I like the set. I wish they did a little more with it. You talking about the graphically and stuff? Yes. Uh, let's give them time. I'm, yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. right? Exactly. I'm gonna give them time. With like it. everything but, is 1.0 of what of like. Okay, of this is our Absolutely. new canvas. What can we do with this? Yes, so, absolutely. like, as we go and they say, oh, wouldn't it be cool? If, you know, kind of like it took a while for us to get, like, you know, the city that burnt as as Corbin walked out kind of stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. like, you know, learned how that worked. Um, so I, I think if you give it a little bit of time, give us a few months with this and, and let their graphic designers um, mm-hmm. really kind of dig into something like that, or I guess motion graphic designers, um, I think... I think by the time we get to WrestleMania, like it's gonna be some cool shit happening on that on that set. I think it's gonna be a different set for WrestleMania, though. That's the mm. thing. Um, I, I think SmackDown is going to be bringing back the Fist. I, I hope. So. I heard this rumor too. I'm, I'm, I'm reasonably sure. What if it's a giant LED? F- covered fist right because we LED, got the with led screens on the knuckles and well, no no just the whole thing is an led so like the fist will light up and change colors and designs around the fist the only other thing i'm wondering too is maybe it's an augmented reality fist <gasps> no you think they do that just regularly on the show like, like, dur- like during the intros and during all that it's stuff. coming you know that's going to happen eventually right well, they've already they already do augmented reality stuff on the pay per view. Yeah, on the pay per view that you do it on the pay per view, like the big stuff happens on the pay per view, and it like kind of boils down, right? Uh, yeah. The, the really big stuff happens at WrestleMania, but it's mm-hmm. like you know, it's like you know, you you you, you buy the expensive Tesla, and then like <laughs> a few years down the line, I get a Chevy Bolt that has that shit in it, right? Exactly, exactly, Sorg. Um, but yeah, I, I like the new set. I thought it was fine. Um, it was weird seeing Raw open with Pyro again. Mm-hmm. It was very weird. Um, I don't mind the Pyro. I don't mind it. Um, I would have liked it to be a little bit more creative. Okay. But again, 1.0. It's so, back. It's back. The fact that we're doing it again, right? Yeah. Um, I... I don't want to mention this, but we should. Uh oh. Um, the Miz TV segment. Okay. Uh, so by the way, we will not be talking about this. At least I won't be talking about this in great detail. No. Um, I'm going to call it Halloween Panic. Okay. I, I feel like that's either that or I can't get no Saudi faction. We, we. By the way, we have so we have a little bit as they were setting this up, and I'm, I'm kind of joking. I said, "Oh yeah, they're completely going to have a match in like in the at the desert show or something, right?" Uh, I, so, re- I really thought they were announcing somebody it. in the in attendance while we were watching Raw here in the studio who has been to uh, was he at Saudi Arabia? I, I thought he was in Dubai. Know, what's that? 
I thought he was Dubai, in Dubai, which is not in Saudi Arabia, but oh, it's adjacent. Yeah. Um, yeah. He's in well, he's in the same region. He's yeah, but not that's culturally adjacent. No, not culturally, but that's not the point. <laughs> that's, that, that's, that's not the point. Of, that's, adjacent is the issue, right? But it's not the point I'm trying to make here. Um, so he knows the environment down there, and he says they're trying to kill Ric Flair because they're going to send him to the desert yep. where he can't have alcohol. He's not coming back. Nope. <laughs> not to mention, like, he's probably going to break a law. I don't know. It's... I don't um, know. He's not going to wear anything under his robe. No, he isn't. Wait. <laughs> do they can wear robes out there? Uh, I, yes. A lot of people do wear Or he robes. just said this is a good idea, and he just rolls with it. Probably a little bit of both. Hmm. Let's um, see. Their but, comment, way too much wine. You mentioned fist and going towards the porn hub, porn hub route again. See, I'm always a, I'm always concerned with uh, uh, offending her in the chat room, but never no, mind. No, I Tina, uh, just do us a favor. Email goodtimes at wrestlingmamshow.com with your Google search history right after the show. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I have to double check. <laughs> Somebody was telling me that email wasn't working. Like it was it was bugging again. I need to double check that. Or send me something and let me know if uh, I should be looking for that. Anyways. Anyway. Um, but yeah, Jeez. so the main event of Halloween Panic was announced. Mm-hmm. And it's uh gonna be Team Racist versus Team Old Man. Wow. You ever wanted to just by the way, and, and the same thing happened that I said would happen. Despite everything, I get a, uh, let me tell you something, brother, and then I get the wrestle chills. It happened again. Oh, I don't. Not yeah. anymore. Yeah. No, I, Not I can't anymore because, Sorg, if, if you want to try to avoid that, yeah. Um, here's what I do. Every time he says brother, imagine the word he really wants to oh, say. no. Okay, that's one way to solve that problem, yep, I it, guess. It, it's very effective. Um, very effective. Although thinking that Ric Flair was going to go at him right there, that was kind of because we don't know if Ric Flair is going off script or not. No, I anymore. Care. There was no script. Rick Ric Flair did not know where he was for that entire segment, and God bless the Miz for keeping that on track. Mm-hmm. Like, I realized something as we were watching that segment. I'm like, okay, I understand they have to set up Halloween Panic, whatever. Um, But The Miz was the only person who could make that segment work. Oh, absolutely. Because he is a professional, and he knows exactly what what needs to be said. Mm-hmm. And Rick was lost, and Hogan was tired. <laughs> like, legitimately. Oh, it was, yeah. Well, uh, other but than... yeah, and they and they announced uh, two members for each team, Rollins and and Rusev for Team Hogan, and Corbin and Orton for Team Flair. And I'm assuming Lashley will now join Team Flair because if there's anything Ric Flair would approve of, it's making out with another man's wife. Ah, uh, yes, and it all comes together. Uh huh. Uh, Google why cornflakes were invented. You're welcome. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Should I keep my safe search off for that? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't even know what that would do. But... By the way, it looks like the email is down. I need to go talk to GoDaddy and find out what the hell they did to it. Oh, sorry. Uh, I thought you talked so to Candace Michelle. In the meantime... Michelle. What? <laughs> I thought you talked to Candace no, Michelle. No, Candace Michelle is not answering my support calls. Damn it, uh, Candace anymore. Michelle. Stop dancing around in circles. Yes. Go, Daddy. Go, Daddy. Go, Daddy. Go, Daddy. Go. Uh, speaking of, Sorg, can we get rid of King yet? Can we get rid of what? King. Uh, yeah. Okay. So generally, um, Vic. Can he go away? By the way, Vic is now the second announcer that I've worked with. That has been on Raw. Excellent. <laughs> so, um, points there, I guess. Uh, yes. Mayhem so, bump. Mayhem. No, no, he was never on Mayhem. Yeah, I know, but, you know, transitive property. Mayhem is transitive, transitive property of Mayhem bump. You were on Mayhem. You've worked with him. Mayhem I worked with him. He was there that, that, that infamous night where Rhino and uh, Jason Bain broke the ring during an eye pay-per-view before intermission. 
<laughs> I don't know if he was on. I can't. I don't think he was on commentary. I think he was more a character then. So, if I recall. Yeah. Anyways, um, and uh, it is I, confirming safe search off. I know nothing about. <laughs> I know nothing about um a uh, new guy. I like uh, Dio Madden. Dio. Okay, I said that, and they said, "Oh, Dio's dead." I'm like, "No, not that Dio." <laughs> so and. And that Dio isn't dead either, Sorg. He isn't? He just went home. Oh, right. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, I I did not. I thought Dio was all right. Uh, Vic. Um, just, Vic was great. I f- kept forgetting that he wasn't Michael Cole. Yeah, Vic was great. There, like in a good way. In a good way. He flubs here and there, but he corrected himself too, which is something Cole does not do. Right. Right. So I think that was good. I think, uh, by the way. Waller did confirm that he watches the product tonight. Did you see that? No, no, he didn't. He said, I watched these guys last week. No, he didn't because he said he keeps calling Otis fat when their entire gimmick is steaks and weights. Listen. And he said that they he said that Otis doesn't work out because he wanted to get his stupid fucking grandpa joke in. Okay. Like they're in the entire vignettes of them in NXT of are of them in the gym mm-hmm. eating steaks and lifting weights. Mm-hmm. Dio even said they're all about steaks and weights. Mm-hmm. Well, that's something for them to correct him for, right? It, it's it's something that shouldn't need to be corrected. Because remember, Lawler, I, I think very classically, does not research. Going no into shit. These. Like the only thing he researches are jokes to tell and offensive things to say about women. Okay, I thought they said Madden. So it is Dio Madden. His... Yeah, that's what I said. Dio he Madden. Was... Oh, he was in the NXT for a while. Brendan Williams, former NFL player. Okay. I like everybody's in height order, too. Good good work there. Uh, King still needs to go the fuck away. <laughs> we'll see how long he lasts. We'll see We'll see how this goes. We'll, we'll see how... The, only, we'll also the see... only reason I will accept King... On commentary, the only way I will accept it. Sorg, have you seen Stranger Things? I just wrapped it up a couple weeks ago, yes. You know how uh, Billy is controlled by the Mind Flayer? Spoilers. It's been a couple months. Right, right, right. Um, If King is controlled by the Fiend. Ooh. The only way I'll accept it. If this is a a long con kind of thing, where King is actually an agent of the Fiend, I'll accept that. It's the only way I'll accept it. But other than that, he needs to get the fuck gone. Okay. All right. I dig it. I dig it. Um, and I was wondering about that because, like, you know, watching the Firefly Funhouse videos uh, mm-hmm. tonight, like, I'm, I'm like, you see him on the wall. Is like, is there going to be a reference to that when he comes back? Um, then my mind started going with like, oh, what kind of crazy stuff can we do with the fiend at Hell in the Cell? Um. I uh, Firefly Funhouse. I feel like we're just hitting all the high points. Uh, yeah, the, this week's episode was not good tonight. Yeah, it was very. And see, this is the problem. I, I, they've booked themselves into a corner. Have they? I I feel like it anyway. Mm-hmm. Because you can't have the fiend lose. Mm-hmm. You cannot, cannot, cannot. Have another no decision inside the cell. Mm-hmm. You cannot. What if the cell have... catches on fire? It doesn't matter. Still needs to have a finish. Mm-hmm. Cannot have another no decision in the cell. And if Bray wins, if the Fiend wins the title, mm-hmm. what then? Like, what the fuck do you do with him? Because you can't have him wrestle on Raw, Mm -hmm. and then you're running into the Brock Lesnar problem, Mm -hmm. but a different kind of version of the Brock Lesnar problem. Mm -hmm. And you can't have him lose. Like, if if The Fiend wins, he needs to hold that until WrestleMania. Until WrestleMania. I don't think it's a bad idea. But who does he wrestle until then? You can't just run them against Seth. Because think well, about it. We so also don't know what I, the I know draft the, is going to look like. I know the draft is going to reshuffle some things. Mm-hmm. I'm aware of that. I'm shaking but, up. But let's, fuck it. Let's look over Raw and SmackDown. Mm-hmm. 
besides Seth Rollins, give me hell three faces that can go against the Fiend. Three faces? Yeah. Like, the hmm. only one I can think of is Roman Reigns. As champion. Braun. <sighs> Braun was taken out. Yeah, but Braun... Braun's not at that level. I think I think you've set up for a lot of outs for this that um, he, he could... Like, the Fiend could be... Any of his victims could pop up. Braun is a big number one. Yeah, and Tina's mentioning Finn Balor, but mm-hmm. but again, Finn Balor, if he comes back as the demon, the Fiend has to win that. Maybe, maybe. Well, we'll see what they're doing with that. Yeah. Um, I, I think I think there's a lot of opportunity for them to be really creative with where we go with that, and you know, not yeah, if... but we know what happens when there's a lot of opportunity to be creative. Well, you know. <laughs> Mike, at least you get the rock on set on on Friday. Um, yeah, they're promoting Jumanji, I assume. Yay! I'm really excited for the new Jumanji. Um, uh, by the way, uh, and this is a sidebar to Jumanji. So, do you follow Karen Gillan on Twitter? No, but I should. Do you follow Ryan Reynolds on Twitter? I should. Yes, you should for both of these. Uh, so they're all in a superhero fantasy football league. What? Yes, it's amazing. And part of the league is they have week to week matchups. Whoever loses has to donate money to a charity of the winner. But they also have to post trash talk videos. Sorg, you need to watch the trash talk between Ryan Reynolds and Karen Gillan. It's the greatest thing I've ever seen. Uh, I'd also like to offer her. Oh. I think I turned it off on my nose. Oh. Congratulations uh, for her win this week. That is right. She beat me fair and square. Uh, and you know something? I'm especially proud to be beaten by Karen because uh, she is a great person and she's from one of my favorite places on planet Earth. She's from Scotland, which has always felt like a, like a second home to me. Um, I've never been there, but I love uh, Hugh Jackman and uh, Pixar's Brave and Charms, all kinds of stuff. But uh, I just want to say uh, thanks again uh, for the great competition, Karen. You, you killed it. You were amazing. And I look forward to uh, seeing everybody next week. Okay, bye. All right. And, and, and Karen Gillum responded to that by saying, thank you for being gracious in defeat, Ryan. You are truly one of America's greatest actors. <laughs> Everybody and, so, and Sorg, you need to go back to before the weekend for the videos they talk trash on each other. Sorg, it's it's so good. Oh, <laughs> it's so oh, good. I just saw the America's Finest tweet. That's great. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah. It's, um, <laughs> they're they're all just a damn delight. Jeez. Uh on that note, that's all I got to talk about, sir. Um, um, oh, uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, we we had some stuff with the man. We did have some man stuff. Yeah, which is good. With the man, yes. I'd like them to main event the pay per view. I don't think they're going to. No, I don't think we're really set with that. With the, especially with the Bray Wyatt stuff, and I well, mean, it depends it, on how the Bray Wyatt stuff goes. And you can't have a match after the cage catches on fire. I don't think the cage is catching. The on cage fire. is catching on fire, Mike. You know what I would like, and and this, this is the year not... it's going to happen because I think I said it no, last year too. This is not going to happen, but I think it would be really cool. What if, like, the fiend wins, and to end the show, he like raises the title up, and there's like a lightning flash, and the backdrop of the Firefly Funhouse comes down into the cell. Why would you do that? <laughs> what ruin the pay per view for you by coming up with something? Like, that'd be a cool creative. thing to do, like the next night. No, sorry, that's how you. That's how you close the show. Mm. Like all the sides except the hard cam, mm-hmm. just giant, and it's 
Firefly Funhouse in the Cell. Fuck everybody else on the other sides of the ring. Yeah, it's the end of the show anyway. Yeah, true. So people will see it on the monitors. That's right. That's right. I got to see the back of the Besides, that cell is all red. It's going to be hard to see in there anyway. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah, and uh, Tina says that after Halloween Panic, Survivor Series is the next show. So we're already kind of ruining that by the main event of Halloween Panic mm-hmm. by doing Team Warfare. Team Warfare. Yeah. 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 What the hell? Uh-huh. Uh huh. We'll see what goes. Welcome to the awkward um, fall of pro wrestling. Halloween Panic. Yeah, it's a good name for it. I do like Halloween Panic. Like I wish <laughs> now. I, I wish that was really a show. Um, <laughs> yeah, don't we all? I want to hit up some of the local promotion. Be like, hey, um, you need a new title. Oh, Ziggy Heem should wrestle a Halloween Panic. Hey, um, you know who's coming to town this month? Santa Claus. No, that's a couple months away. Oh, okay. That's a couple. Buff, I don't know. Usually coming to town. It's sir, like Buff Bagwell is coming to town for RWA. Oh, is he going to be at the uh, uh, local nightly establishment? I think he's going to be at the establishment of the night. Yes. <laughs> Afterwards. Hashtag Jiggle Buff Bagwell. Hashtag, yes. hashtag Judy Bagwell on a stripper pole match. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Gonna be hanging out on the south side, um, <laughs> getting some work in. He's gonna be going to cheerleaders. Uh, yeah. Oh wow, you know cheerleaders. I I've never been, but I've heard tell. <laughs> I I think Corey Graves even mentioned it once. Did on, he really? On, on Ride Along. Oh jeez. Like <laughs> you need to find the Corey Graves episode of Ride Along where they're driving through Pittsburgh. Oh man. Because I recognize some stuff, and I know if I did. You're definitely. I know. I did see the one where heavy machinery came through and stopped the Permanis. Oh yeah, of course. So that was a recent one. So, but I can't watch. I can't watch that show anymore because there's like, hey, we're gonna stop a Kentucky Fried Chicken. Oh, no! look at this golden oh! bucket. Wink, wink. Lord, you I, need... I just couldn't do so it anymore. Wait, 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 wait. Did you not watch the full episode with the Iconics? Uh likely not. I, I just fell out of keeping Sorg! up with it. You gotta be joking me! You gotta be joking me! Now I did see the Iconics were on main event on September twelfth. That just came up in my trending because yeah, that was holy the show shit, that. main event is coming up on trending because the Iconics were on it. Of course, that was the show I was at. Yep, because the Iconics are delightful women. Man, Mike. Yeah. I think I screwed up. Uh oh. Because I have slated for October fifteenth the Tuesday night celebration. Uh, Tuesday night war celebration party, but apparently that's tomorrow. Yep, officially. That's tomorrow. So tomorrow yep. we're gonna celebrate being not up against WWE except for Total Divas, um, but whatever. But Sorg, um, much like Street Fighter, a new competitor has appeared. A new challenger has approached. Yes, on my extended cable system. It, it hasn't showed up yet, but is approaching. Coming. <laughs> Impact is coming to take us on. It's it's come on, Impact. I thought we were friends. I thought uh, we were friends. No, to be fair, they're they're not my friends. They're, they're not mine, Mike's friends. But I thought we they're were friends. Block me on I thought we were on good terms. Josh, let's have a conversation about this. Uh, but anyways, yeah, they're going to be on access. Uh, access. I a x a x s. I, I'm excited because they might actually be on the on demand and I can probably watch it afterwards because oh, I can watch the women of wrestling and the uh, New Japan stuff. So yeah, no, women of wrestling came back. By the way, if you have access, uh, the, the women, the wow, superheroes, women of wrestling came back and I got to see the last half of the last day of the tapings, I think. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, it's some good shit. It's some good oh. wrestling, sirs. I wish I had it. I uh, watched it. Yeah, I wish there was like I wish they had more options for people to, to watch in general, mm-hmm. right? Like even just buying it on iTunes, even right? Uh, I, I, would buy it on iTunes. I know, but I just I wish the option was there. <laughs> <laughs> I have a wedding to pay for. Sorry. Oh jeez, sorry, we just booked a DJ. Bu- <laughs> that's that's uh, that's that's a lot of that's a lot of work. Oh, did you book did you book uh, Mar- uh, Marshall Gambino? 
I did not book Marshall. Not only does he have a moving company, he also has DJ service. Oh, I was unaware of that. Yeah. I was unaware. We advertise it on the show, sir. I Sorg, we advertise a lot on the show. It was it was somewhere in between the flashlight ads and um <laughs> I, to be fair, and something else. We I tried. was probably distracted by the flesh. That's right. It sounds forgotten. Mm-hmm. I think he's still going by that. But um, anyways, uh, also no John Morrison. I wondered if I personally saw. Uh, I wondered if he was going to be Johnny Raw or Johnny SmackDown when he came I, back. No, no, Sorg. Could he be Johnny Two Hundred Five? Johnny Full Sail. Johnny Full Sail. <laughs> I want Johnny Full Sail versus Johnny Wrestling. For the moniker of Johnny oh, Wrestling. Who is the most Johnny? And then Sorg, eventually, guess what? We can get the greatest mixed tag team match of all the goddamn time. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yes. 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 Mr. and Mrs. Mundo versus Mr. and Mrs. Wrestling. Oh, man. Give me that in my veins. That's, oh, that's a weird way to put that, but okay. Yes. Oh, and uh, actually, I do have I do have some non WWE. That is the good of the week for me. I showed my buddy Danny a little bit, just a sliver, because it's now streaming free on Tubi.tv of Lucha Underground. Oh. And I I have implored him. I don't know if he's going to because he's a very busy individual because he has a child. But I've implored him to watch. All of Lucha Underground. Just watch it with the child. That's what I told them. I'm like, your son will learn a lot. He but, will learn a lot about life. He will learn a lot about love. He will learn a lot about Lucha. Do you feel that AIP, a, 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 AOP have just completely jacked an entire script from Lucha Underground by now? Probably, yeah. It feels like it. It feels Here, like it. No, I'm telling you, it's it's the street... It's the street fighter uh versus screens <laughs> it's really what it is just translated here this is good this is good this is good also in my head i i feel like each one of them is is speaking a different language from each other and okay that's why they keep looking at each other for cues <laughs> <laughs> i know it's not probably true but like in no, my head like i'm true. like what if he like actually this one's speaking samoan and this one's speaking like something else and they don't actually know what they're saying but we're subtitles, so we don't know they're not they don't know. But they're doing the look over thing, you know, as we're like, your turn. Your turn to talk about violence. Your turn to talk about violence. I uh, mean, you know. Who doesn't love violence? And and yes, Tina, I know Junior love Lucha. Uh his son is um, eleven months old. Hmm. <laughs> Start him young! Start and him that's, young. That's what I told him, but, you know, he's like, oh, he'll cry. I'm like, eh. Tuesday he'll night, we are going to be celebrating uh, the end of the Tuesday night war. Our long national mayhem nightmare is over. Until the new one. And also scheduled our friends uh, from Pit Fight that are going to be having another uh, show uh, with uh, at Pitt University of Greensburg. Uh, they're coming back on to talk about what's going to be coming on with that show, and I believe that show was put on the uh, the Armstrong uh, YouTube page. If you want to go check that out too, I believe that is out there somewhere. So just look up Pit Fight, and uh, a lot of friends of the show are going to be a part of that uh, too. So it looks like it's going to be. I, I saw and heard great things from the first one, um, and uh, go check that out. Our friends from Two Two PW. Um, Marshall Gambino Pro. Uh, <laughs> he does everything, guys. Uh, are are going to be a part of that too. So go check that out. Uh, Mad Mike four eighty three on the tweets. YouTube dot com slash Poppy, who is now added to the soundtrack for WWE two K twenty. Oh man, Poppy is on the soundtrack, so you know what that means, Sorg. If I buy the game, which is honestly a little. If he, if I'm going to, if I buy the game, I am making Poppy. Uh, I think she's probably already a secret. Like there's, there's got, there's got to be a formula to make Poppy out there. God, right? yes, yeah. Please, I just want to team up Poppy with Io Shirai and and the Fiend. <laughs> uh, Sorgatron on the Twitter. Sorgatron Media. A lot of great shows. Our friends, Bardic Mystery Tales. 
uh tour sorry uh the our dungeon and dragon podcast on the network just put out a new episode please go check out that out and of course our friends at comic book pit are talking about superman number 15 sword were they excited that spider-man is back oh i'm sure they were. i'm excited that spider-man is back there he goes Parker! i was excited at the pontification that they were going to bring back uh daredevil and Kingpin in the next Spider-Man movie with Matt Murdock as his lawyer. I want it so bad, Sorg. I literally said this 10 years ago. That's not (laughs) a joke. Because I wanted Ben Affleck to be fucking Tobey Tobey Maguire's lawyer. So basically... not a joke. I really, really wanted that. So basically... Oh, that's actually... I like that visual. Um, So basically, it's going to be a retelling of The Trial of the Incredible Hulk made for TV movie. Um... Oh no! This is this is this is a Spider-Man story. It's a Spider-Man story, but no, but there's a Spider-Man story. Sword Chameleon is a thing now. Oh really? Chameleon's in Far From Home. Was he? He's the bus driver that worked with Mysterio. Oh. Because what? in the Spider-Man cartoon from the '90s, I believe it was also a comic storyline. I believe it was adapted from that. But Chameleon impersonated Spider-Man to the point where Spider-Man was a wanted criminal. Mm-hmm. And Matt Murdock represented Spider-Man in a court of law and got him off. Wow. Because yeah. there, But you know what I'm talking about, Trial of the Incredible Hulk, too, right? Of course I do. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm just saying for the general... Listen, let me have my weird reference, okay? Because okay, that's what I grew up on. I did not that's catch fine. this comic story because all I got were... Sure, you get Disney Plus? Listen, man, when I get, it get Disney, Disney Plus... Plus yes. All of Spider-Man from the 1990s is going to be on. I, you can relive it. Because I wasn't able to catch a Spider-Man because I tried to play basketball that year in school and missed ah, out on my Spider-Man. Sorry. It was a bad decision. I know I should have just watched Spider-Man. Terrible decision. Sorry. Yeah. Man. I, I, I tried to be athletic once. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't work. It doesn't yeah. work. Guys, thank you so much. That's enough of this. We'll see you guys next time. I'm going to cue the thing, and then we're going to go Mayhem out. Hold oh, just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at Sorgatron Media.